Hello, I'm Beverly from the Midland Public Library Program Assistant, and today on Know Your Local Species, we are going to look into eagles. The two types of eagles found in Ontario are the bald eagle and the golden eagle. The bald eagle is one of the most recognizable birds in the world. But did you know that the bald eagle portion of its name has nothing to do with not having feathers on its head? As you can clearly see, these eagles have white feathers covering their entire face with no bald spots anywhere. Their name actually stems from an old English word, piebald, which means white patch and refers to their bright white heads. While most everyone knows what a full-grown bald eagle looks like, trying to correctly identify juvenile birds is tricky. These eagles don't get their characteristic white heads and dark brown bodies until they are five years old. Until then, these birds have all sorts of different plumage and streaking browns and whites on their bodies. Even their beak changes color. It takes a lot of practice and experience to identify a bald eagle, a young bald eagle properly. Bald eagles are found across Ontario after almost going extinct in the mid 20th century due to DDT poisoning, these raptors are true success story. They are most commonly seen around bodies of water and that's why we have them here. The reason the bald eagle is found around water is that they mostly eat fish. Look for them around marshes, lakes, coasts and rivers. The best area and forest near large bodies of water that provide good fishing and tall trees for nesting. Did you know that bald eagles build the largest nests in the world? Their nests start small, but eagles add new layers each year. The biggest one ever found was 10 feet wide, that's three meters, and 20 feet tall, that's six meters, and weighing three tons. Holy moly. Bald eagles would keep adding to their nests each year, but what happens is the structure gets so heavy that they eventually fall out of the tree and the birds have to start over. The bald eagle probably doesn't sound like what you would think. If you imagine an intimidating eagle call, then you would be wrong. The bald eagle probably doesn't sound like what you think. If you imagine an intimidating eagle call, then you would be wrong. I think they sound more like a gull with trills and little whistles. In fact, movie directors are so unimpressed with the sound of a bald eagle, it's common for them to use the call of a, a red-tailed hawk instead for dramatic effect. It's unmatched eyesight. It is not at all surprising that bald eagles hunt from 10,000 feet, that's three kilometers, in the air. The vision is about eight times better than humans. More importantly, these eagles can see into ultraviolet portions of the spectrum. This adaptation is helpful because it allows them to see past reflections on the water surface and find fish that would otherwise be invisible to the glare. The length of a bald eagle is about 28 to 40 inches, the weight 6.5 to 15 pounds, and the wingspan 71 to 91 inches. The golden eagle. The golden eagles are incredibly fast and agile, which makes them expert hunters. Where bald eagles mostly eat fish, these eagles almost always eat mammals. Their favorite prey include rabbits, hares, ground squirrels, marmots, prairie dogs. These raptors have been known to hunt and kill animals as large as small deer, seals, mountain goat, coyotes, and badgers. Holy cow. They have even been known to snatch a bear cub for dinner. Talk about bravery. The golden eagle has dark brown with gold feathers on the back of its neck, which is how they got their name. Juvenile birds have white patches on their wings and tails. Immature bald eagles and adult eagles look similar and can be easily confused. The distinguishing feature between these two birds is that the bald eagle doesn't mind showing a little leg 
whereas the golden eagle has feathers all the way down to the top of their feet. These powerful raptors typically mate for life. To impress a female, male birds will pick up a stick or a rock and fly up high only to drop it. Then the eagle will enter a dive and catch the object again before it hits the ground. Once a pair is together, it's common for them to hunt cooperatively where one individual ambushes the prey and drives it towards the second bird to make the kill. Golden eagles are also known to like cliffs for building nests on, but they have no problem using trees, observation towers, and nesting platforms. These raptors have been known to nest on the ground. The most important feature these birds look for when building a nest is it needs to have a good view of all its surroundings. Unfortunately, golden eagles are not commonly seen in Ontario. These birds prefer vast open areas such as landscapes that include cliffs, mountains and hills. You can also spot these birds in grasslands, farmland, shrublands, arctic tundra and woodlands. These eagles are not extremely noisy and their calls sound like whistles that are weak and high, just like bald eagles. For such a powerful raptor, you would think the golden eagle would have much more of an intimidating sound. The length is 26 to 40 inches, the weight is 6.5 to 16, and the wingspan 71 to 91. That's all for now on eagles. I hope you have enjoyed this of Know Your Local Species. Make sure you like and share.